that to know what we did in our previous lives, we only need to just look at what we have in our present lives. To know what might result in our future life, we simply look at what we are doing now. It is fundamental that we understand this concept. Practices of ten bad deeds leading to suffering in health. The ten bad deeds are the opposite of the ten good deeds. They are only a few decades in one's life. If we do not realize the need to practice good deeds, or we do not know the law of cause and effect, or we do not accumulate merits and virtue, when we are taken by the judge of impermanence, when we are standing in the horrors of hell, it will be too late to regret. Too late to regret now. The judge is here to try us. It is like waking up from a dream. All actions done in one's life will be judged after one's death. The kings and soldiers in the hells manifest from our karma. People who have no causes to go to these hells do not experience the horrors of hells. These horrors are not there because the kings of hells are cruel, or that they willingly inflict pain and suffering to the dead. The sins of these hells are the manifestations of one's own karma. Nothing more and nothing less. The first hall in the hells, the hall of King Qin Guang. Here in the first hall in the hells, the length of life, the level of auspiciousness, and the punishment in the hells are decided. All sinful souls are brought to King Qin Guang to be tried and sentenced accordingly. These souls will be punished in the hells and to have their karma reduced. If any soul can balance their good deeds with their bad, the soul can then be sent to the tenth hall to await rebirth. No one can hide in front of the karma mirror. The cunning and deceitful people will be exposed. When one dies, nothing is retained except one's karma. All of our bad deeds will be exposed in the karma mirror. No one can deny anything. The first and most important good deed is filial piety. The most serious sin of all is to commit suicide. It is foolish and also agonizing for one to commit suicide. The suffering after suicide is more painful. One would suffer the pain of suicide repeatedly because one has yet to repay the four great kindnesses, the kindnesses of one's parents, teachers, country, and all other beings. If one commits suicide without fulfilling one's duties, not only will the parents be heartbroken, the spouse and children will lead miserable lives. Therefore, this sin is exceptionally severe. A chaotic world begins with the loss of conscience and the lack of moral education. In our physical world, it is easy to commit uncountable bad karma. For example, indulgence in sexual misconduct or gambling. Indulgence in alcohol, or not being dutiful or filial to the parents, or forgetting the kindness of others, one mistake leads to a thousand lifetimes of regret, and it will be too late to realize this at the end of one's life. If everyone fails to perform their duties at work, endless karma will be committed. The source of all misconduct comes from the three poisons: greed, anger. And ignorance. The lack of morality these days is due to the failure of adhering to the teachings of sages and moral people. Many people know their own religions only at a superficial level, and not their true essence, which is about moral education. Ignoring the essence of our own religion and focusing only on formalities further confuses them and leads to deterioration of their morals. If one does not practice what one learns, one should feel ashamed in front of virtuous books. We study the teaching of the sages to educate our communities. 
if we do not harmonize ourselves with these teachings and not act as a role model for others, but instead indulge in fame and financial gain, then we will be the first to come to this hell for remedial study. Next, one goes to go to other hells to clear one's sins. People who profit by cheating disappoint those with sincerity. The purpose of social educators is to serve and educate the people. Their only purpose is to look after the people's interests. Should anyone try to gain profit for themselves, it will not only damage the image of the educators, but also disappoint the people. Such as, if people who lead Buddhist chanting ceremonies miss a few lines, or if they are unfocused or insincere, they will first have to make up for their lapses after death. Then they will be sent to different hells to absolve their sins. The dim lights from an oil lamp cannot show up black-hearted people. Intelligent, capable people can bring good fortune to others, or bring disaster too. For some who claim to be religious and fail to follow the teachings in the sutras, their suffering will be unbearable once the judge arrives. They will also be reborn as animals to repay for their sins. People go to different hells according to their sins. Dictated by the course of one's karma, one will go to a specific hell according to one's past deeds, as the due punishment is personally experienced and served. The hell of pillars. It is said, lewd thoughts arise from a comfortable life. Today, sexual indulgence is widespread. Most who suffer in this hell indulged in their past lives in sexual misconduct and adultery, in the selling of pornographic books, tapes, and discs, or in the photographing, writing, possessing, or was involved in the public exhibition of pornography and similar materials. These people will be sent to this particular hell after their death. They will be forced to embrace a red-hot burning copper pillar. Die from burns all over their bodies, and then be reborn repeatedly in this hell as a form of perpetual punishment. This pain and suffering will be unbearable. Once these people can eliminate their bad karma, they are often reborn as animals. Ending their karma as animals, they will gain a human form. They will usually be poor and despised, have short or harsh lives. The hell. Of fire bed, the hell of fire bed is like a cooking grill. Males who engage in sexual.